There we go. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Peace and Martin Lieutenant Rekir at your service. And welcome to Showcase Sunday number 119. It, I, continue, I, I continue to be impressed with just how long we've been going with this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> but it's also a bit of a good measure of how long we've been going with streaming in total, because it's been mostly when well, every week not every time so it's a bit of we can use it as a bit of a rough measure of how long we've been going and yeah we are approaching year number three somewhere in april i believe i keep forgetting the specific date i really had to, need to go look that up again and just yeah. put a massive marker on the wall about that yeah for when you have a security job that one did almost yeah, drag that showcase something to a drag to just have you to just take a long break from it due to... Yeah, yeah just you, shifting, constantly shifting work hours and such. Yeah, this makes it <clears> extremely <throat> impractical to do showcase Sundays. Like, the only thing you just showcase for games. The only is he has to test the games, make sure they work. It's very hard to do in advance with... Uh, with the security jobs, uh, yeah, especially when it fucks over my sleep schedule completely and still has a lasting effect on it. <clears throat> That's uh, yeah. uh, what we do with Showcase Sunday is that we try out some games. Typically, for lately, it's been mostly six. Uh, we give them about half an hour each, if to see if they're any good for streaming in full some other time. Uh, but if it's obvious that they are not going to be, or that they're just not working, we're going to jump to the next one. And the first one we're starting with is Trailmakers. And I get a, I have a suspicion that this is one of the games that we showcased before, but <clears throat> uh, but wasn't put into the titles on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I, I really should go back through each and every one of them to see if I can find, uh, track down what does you know, what we have and haven't done. I um, think I recall that we did not showcase this. I think. Okay. I think this one goes because you end up skipping. Could be, uh, what? but even if we did showcase it, uh, it's been expanded quite a lot since that potential showcase, because now there's also sea and space stuff going on. So yeah, let's start up, uh, let's see, Airborne, save, save the chirpos from evil space pirates. You've crash landed on the strange and alien world, explore the planet to recover salvage and rebuild your spaceship. Okay, that's DLC. Let's start here then, instead. Let's see, Garbage Carrier 3000, keeping the cosmos clean. Um, also, I should start... I should stop the normal timer and start the 25-minute one. Let's see, use the Builder menu to assign different vehicles to your transform slot so you can quickly swap between them. Okay. So let me reset that until the game actually starts. Tractor beam can be switched on and off. Will attract any linear loose objects within its range. Has a range of three meters. Okay. Okay, there we go. And oh wait, it started up the. It started up what I already had because, as you can see, I have played this game for quite a bit. Um, stopping them, stopping it then again. And can we start a new one? Single player campaign of hmm, sandbox racing. See, that's what to explore danger zone. Catch try to catapult the spinner gauntlet in the battle ball arena. Treasure, and they've definitely added a lot of spots, a lot of stuff uh, outside of their campaign, though. It is a bit disappointing to see that they only added one extra campaign bit then for you, yeah, for you to test all of your stuff. Hmm. Oh dear. Now, let, let's give the Treasure Island a try then if we can not start a new campaign. It's aerodynamics, hinges, weight distribution, downforce, propulsion. It, Mods allow change the games as a gravity, making game modes and levels. You can download. Oh, okay. <laughs> there is workshop integration then. Okay. Think outside the box. 
All right then. Um, builder. Uh, do you want to build this? Uh, decals. It is throwing a bit much at these. It's okay. I like that it allows you to just auto build something from scratch for yourself. Let's see. We've got stats over here. Number of blocks. Power cores. And how much it weighs. Muscle League. Okay. It's for the racing stuff. And uh, oh. credits. But, oh, my accessories from the shop. Okay. Um, I have a lot of vibes from Lego, Mega Bloks, and other toys that allow you to build different things with different parts. Yeah, like, it, it's almost it, a much those. It's, it does have a big feel of those. Okay, the, the wheels and the cockpit have good aerodynamics, but we need something on the front of these to make it better. Uh, let's see, blocks, frame. Uh, let me pull the charger cable out of my mic because it was running low on power, but should be decent now. Let's see, aerodynamic. Okay, and we just take this. Uh, need to lower that one. Okay, copy it. Put it there. Then copy once more. Uh, yep. Okay, the controls for this are relative to how you're looking at it. That is nice. Okay, and save. Okay. And now we just have our own little car like this. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Yep. <laughs> and already. <laughs> okay, that's a heavy thing. That's a okay. fail? Okay, I see. We need to push it over to that. So let's see if we can just do that with this basic bandits edit. Yeah, it was more from the impact than the actual weight on this thing. Okay. Yeah, you... Simple enough oh, puzzle. God. You're coming like too hard, I get. Years ago, it would not be so weird to say that. Probably so many people misused that line so many times that it's hard to say it now. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, we... Okay, I will... <laughs> We actually managed to get a bit of extra speed up there, right? Get. Let's see. What does it say up there? Get it together. Not sure what that's fully supposed to mean with it. Uh, what's this here? It's a bird. A little roadrunner like. Hmm. Okay. The fact that the. The fact that. The campaign doesn't seem to have an obvious reset. Maybe it's in the options. Uh, that is a bit of a nuisance because, well, then we wouldn't be able to... Uh, we won't be able to restart that from the beginning and get a clean uh, start with it. Okay, this is timed. Yeah, we're still... Hmm. A bit on like... If you get resorted about me just making a new character, that's fine, but I guess you only have one character in this game. Likely. Maybe we can take a look in a second in the options. And yeah, we don't have enough speed for that, so we would need to put on some more engines. Uh, Let's yeah. see. But there's no way to reset it. And there's no, you know, make a new character to start a new uh, campaign. And this game is instantly no. Yeah, sadly. Uh, let's see. All right, there's some basic blueprints here and some of my own attempts. Uh, let's see. Uh, big bike. There. Uh, yes, delete blocks. Uh, no, don't save that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of my attempts at a speedier thing. Wait, we call it a bike. Yeah. yeah. I played this a long time ago, and it, it probably started out as more of an actual bike, but just mutated into this. And yeah, that's a lot more speed, 180 kilometers per hour. 
Let's see if we can get through that hunt with this thing. I, I know there is a type of bike with four wheels, but that's more of a, you have four people and all of them uh, are uh, pedaling together. Yeah, I think that's more a quad bike or something? Yeah, I okay. think it might be called a quad bike. But that, that's probably the only four wheel bike Oop. that I know of. So damage from a bad bit of landing. Oop. Um, can we make this jump like this? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, sort of. <laughs> okay, we're lucky that we can just re glue everything together again on the spot. Okay, not enough for that. Oh. And in the drink we go. Or, or not. <laughs> Okay, let me actually bring this thing out then. And uh, yeah, this basically this thing only really goes up, <laughs> not much else. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it, there's a reason it's called an attempt. So, let's just get to a stop, and let's see, boat, air bike, heli uh, attempt. Yes. Let's try this one. Okay. Yep. And immediately we're just sinking. Uh, that's the tractor. Uh, okay. Nope. Hmm. Right, I say let's see if we can if you can make a new character or something for Can immediately get ejected from my own sub. But yeah, this game would be a lot of fun just to build stuff. The thing with the campaign is that you have to go look around for new parts to use and then use those new parts to find other new parts, etc. etc. Uh, let's so, see, main menu. Pay story. Yeah, there's no real story, no. Oh. But you, we can already see that there, <laughs> there's quite some things that people can and have made, like freaking X-Wings. Let's see, options. Uh, oh, hello, profile. Oh, hello, restart stranded. And, wait, apparently there's, there is a second, a, th a third campaign. Okay, single player, campaign, stranded. Yeah, I really do get the feeling that we have showcased this game at some point before, because all of this is looking more familiar well, than just from what I played myself. May you have showcased this before I joined? Maybe. So it is a T, so. Hmm. Oh well, we can just look at this bit and then move on to the next game. It's, this is still a pretty fun game. But it, it yeah. has to be kind of yeah, <laughs> your kind of game. <clears throat> well, like the story makes me unsure about streaming it. Yeah, there is a bit of story, of course, but it is uh, about as shallow as you're stranded on the planet, get the hell off. But yeah, maybe maybe for some chill streaming every now and then, not that we, that we do that too often, but for that we mostly have Shipbreaker at the moment. Yeah, build modes. Uh, let's see, we have frame, we have one type of engine, one type of wheel, and steering hinges. So, just quickly slap something together. There. Uh, engine. Let's see. Okay, that needs to be down. Nope. There. Okay. Then move that into place there. And let's see. Wheels. 
Actually, no. Get rid of that because we need steering hinges. By the way, I saw something when you were fiddling with the new map there. I think I saw something that says allow data collection. Uh, that's, yeah, that's that's probably for getting those, uh, <clears throat> getting the, the designs that they showcased uh, <clears throat> earlier or in the intro. Let's see. All right. A bunch of accessory blocks. Let's put one more of these. Move these forwards a bit. I would have liked it with the steering hinges. Okay. There and there. Not the prettiest thing, but it should at least be functional. Yeah, I don't find it weird. In real life, you should have big wheels in the back and small in front for easier steering. But when you're doing a game, you have to reverse it. Dear it's colleague, a fine weird. If you are hearing this, your cargo vessel has crashed and you have survived. The corporation will dispatch a rescue ship, but require you to leave the atmosphere of your current planet. Fortunately, your cargo can be repurposed as building blocks. Build a functional spacecraft by salvaging the scattered contents of your cargo. Once you have located a piece of cargo, place it underneath a recovery drone to extract the building block it contains. Please note that not all building blocks will be suitable for the spacecraft, but they can be used for local transportation purposes. Good luck. Okay. Simple enough. Um, with games, it's mostly because you have to add in those steering, uh, <clears throat> the steering hinges and such. Ah, okay. okay. Though you could probably still work around it a bit by adding, uh, yeah, extra extensions to the back. But for now, let's try and push this thing underneath the <laughs> underneath the salvager there. If it doesn't keep jumping away. Okay, for that. Let's see. Do we have a limit to these at the moment? Because then I can just do this. Uh, I hope that doesn't get in the way of the wheel. Then just turn this around. Okay. Then we copy it and put it there as well. Okay. And we have a little grabber. Okay, it does slow sure us down we... quite a lot, but it makes this a lot easier. I'm not sure if I don't even call it a grabber. This power core is required for your spaceship. Okay. Now it's more like a, a cow catcher or something. There is a specific word for these things, I believe. Hmm. It looks more like a lawnmower at the moment. <laughs> and yeah, I do I do believe we have showcased this game before because all of this is looking a lot more familiar than just from what I remember from playing this mm -hmm. game for myself. But yeah, power cores, we need those for the ship, and then there's just up uh, parts that we need to collect to actually be able to collect more power cores. So let's take a bit of a look over there. Okay, the, the smoke shows where the drones are. It doesn't show... Uh, it doesn't show where the cores are and such. Uh, what have we here? Yep, just a bit of cash. Yeah, we can use those over here for accessories and such. We're just <laughs> making things a bit better looking. And we need power cores for specific blueprints and such. Like, we need a certain amount just to power them. So that's why we have the numbers next to them. Okay. Get out of that. And looks like there's at least one easy object here. And what is that? Okay, okay that, that just looks like some more cash, so no real need for that. Uh, what have we here? Large hinge. Okay. Which fits for larger uh, wheels, probably. Okay. 
And then there's one more thing there. Let's take a look at what that is, but then we'll actually move on to the next game. Yep. Take some painkillers, but I feel like I, there's has been a while a slowly growing headache. But it's not all right pain for that moment. But I know this slowly getting worse, so I'm gonna Yeah. Disperse it before it actually becomes a full out of headache. Okay. And this one is a bit too heavy for us to move at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Let's leave it there, because I am just 100% convinced that we have showcased this before. Nice little game, but no story. So, at best, chill stream. So let's move on to the next game. Tribes of Asgard. Or Midgard. Why did they say... <laughs> okay, typically Asgard comes up with this sort of stuff, so... Um... Okay, it's, let me move it up. Apparently, I forgot to put it in <clears throat> with uh, yeah, the box. borderless gaming. I was wondering what gearbox was behind this. Most likely, as a publisher, they don't all they not that they are not only just developers and stuff. Mm. I know a bit of this game. I haven't watched it in a while. Do I watched it when it was a bit of a new early access, then I... Yeah, I was a bit distracted by other things. Okay. Taking a bit of time to load. Okay. Uh, from what I've seen of this game, it is in some ways similar to Valheim, but in others completely not. Like, it is a survival game, but mostly played from a, an isometric view. Hmm. Uh, I would say they were very, are very different. Okay, sure, just jumped from fifty. <laughs> and both the survival games, but that's it. Yeah, I, I doubt it'll have a food system like Valheim. Uh, come on, game. There I we go. Uh, Besides Norse and survival game, that's it. Everything else is extremely different. Let's see. Survival mode story. Join with your tribe on a quest to save the world. Saga mode. Last stand. 30, hour, no, 30, 30 minutes to 2 hours. Defend the seed of Yggdrasil before the endless winter. Okay. Cross network. Okay. Uh, let's make a new game here. Uh, let's make that private just in case. Uh, 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 you can see the password here. He'll... Yeah, that's it. Should that should not be a thing, really? Uh, like, I'll I leave like it it's out a then. Good, a good thing as an optional, like you can take on and off to show it or not. But having it actively always like this is definitely a bad idea. Yeah, especially when you can have people streaming, which typically ends up well showing their screen and such. Okay, starting the timer. This is new. Is it actually Norse? Hello, Suter. I'm unsure for... It was mostly mumbling to me. Yeah, and very I, throaty I was, mumble. Yeah, this made it hard to identify. Like, Ragnarok easy to hear. The rest, I really struggled to hear what they were saying, so I cannot confirm if that was old news or what. <laughs> they, they could have spoken Swedish for all I knew. Hmm. Day cycles impact temperature, uh, as uh, too does the Prince of Winter. Uh, 
Let's see. Names Ira, uh, Ira. Hero of Valhalla's first wave. The gods send me on ahead to protect this, this seat of Yggdrasil and make sure reinforcements are ready for what's uh, to come. Want to know what it is? What it is do you? Ragnarok is coming. This is exactly what we train for. Monsters of all shapes and sizes are trying to claw their way to the gods by going through Midgard, and it's up to us to beat them back to whatever realm they're crawled out of. First things first, you're going to need your all forge. A wondrous little dwarven invention that can instantly craft stations. Access it from the build menu and deploy it wherever you like. You can even repair your equipment. Crafting is key to increasing your power so you can take on tougher foes. So gather ingredients, build stations, establish a village, and for the love of Odin, craft some clothes. <laughs> Valhalla hasn't done you any favors. <laughs> You can view your quest from the sanctuary behind me. It is said that the Nornir, uh, yeah, Nornir etched into these stones the creatures who would be responsible for unleashing Ragnarok, the agents. Let's uh, use this omen of our fates to plan our own offensive and strike first. Okay, so very much starting similar to Valheim in this way. Uh, yeah, but before we like go see. knocking on any doors... Uh, we have to take down the mighty Jotnar invaders to prevent them from establishing a foothold, starting with Jarn Saxa, the Thunder Jotun. Find her on this island and return to me when you're done. Uh, okay, I will mean, help you out there. For they actually use some Swedish spellings there, uh, well, as far as I know. I think we, okay, maybe Iceland also used that uh, letter. They said, in this case, it would say Jotnar, a Jotun, and they spell Ragnarok as Ragnarok. Okay. It's a shrine for fast travel. Okay, build menu. I have to say this. Put yeah, the Lord Series yeah. foot crushed. See, all forge. Foot crusher, down there. okay, fine, but foot crushed? That would mean she'd be regularly stepped on. Let's see, apparently the game has in its own voice chat that it's on by default. Uh, uh, let's turn that off. Push to talk. Okay. Maniklo? I guess the dwarves are just giving out all forges to anyone these days. Fine. Name's Malik, uh, Mani, bleh, Maniklo. And we're here to help you. To, to help you help me. These old forges can craft all kinds of stations. You'll need to be, uh, those to build tools, weapons, armors, maybe even a heavily fortified village from where it's, you know, from which to take back Midgard. Anything's possible. You just need the right ingredients. Start with making a tool grinder, then deploy it so you can start crafting proper tools. To right tool, you can harvest anything. Chop woods, mine minerals, fish for, well, fish. Well, now I want fish. <laughs> You're good here, okay? Right? Okay, later. Okay. I do like the tone that they're going for so far. Uh, let's see, not enough ingredients. We need flint for that. Okay, and how do we get flint? Uh, Chelsea, do, 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 you can kind of do look a bit odd in the face. Yeah, a bit overall odd, I'd say. Okay, we have a mini map over here. I'm gonna guess uh, uh, a design that, uh, for the character to look good in armor. But spend very really little time on the underwear, well, the skin level, mm. but, uh Another cat. You found some souls. Don't worry, it's not as morbid as it sounds. Souls are the life force of all things given form by Yggdrasil itself. So, Leira? You can get them from harvesting resources, defeating creatures, opening treasures, just about anywhere and e anywhere and everywhere. Souls are invaluable to those who know their power. You can use souls to repair equipment from the All Forge or purchase rare items from sorcerers. Go search some soul searching. <laughs> All we have to say is, the, I am um, don't know if we have cats. We have cats in mythology, but I don't recall any of the cats have horns. Well, well, well. Looks like the ones mighty Einjinar. Uh, yeah, Einheimer. 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 <laughs> Forgot I what think... it means to watch where you venture. The power required in these lands is beyond you. For now, level up and craft better equipment before taking any chance in dangerous areas like these. And hello there, Marco. How are you doing today? Hello, Marco. Or don't. You can ignore me all you want. It's your funeral pyre. But if you want to live long enough to carve your own saga, good luck. 
Yeah, the, oh, this the over here that shows how uh, how dangerous an area is. I do like yeah. that. And now I suspect these cats are Inky and Oscar. <laughs> yep. But they're making puns. I probably should try and uh, I probably should make a bit of an avatar for uh, Oscar as well, and I might die here. Yep. yep. Okay, so you can get resurrected by others, but yeah, nothing we can do at the moment. We're dropping our equipment, I'm guessing. Okay, souls lost. Retrieve your loot before it disappears. Okay. Hmm. How do we get flint then, actually? We need that to start making tools. But they haven't actually told us how to actually get the blasted <laughs> flint. Okay, you regained your health, so there's no way to cheese some a fight like this by just jumping in and out constantly. Okay. Open it up. Got some leather. And now, watch out. You're getting dangerously low on health. What are you doing talking to me? Go heal up. If you're in a tight spot, you can use your waystone <laughs> in the bottom left to return to the sanctuary. Be careful, though. Your waystone needs time to recharge after using it. So make sure it's ready before you go getting hurt like that again. You hear me? I worry about you. Okay, I do like the tone of voice. And I... Okay, that's the, that's the raven we're petting. I thought we could pet the cat. Okay, seriously, where do I get the... A, even a bit of a special attack. Where do I yeah. get the freaking flint from? The, it has to be on the ground or something. Hmm. That's the inventory. Okay, it says nothing about ingredients or such. Oh, that deal dealt a lot of damage. Okay, that's some leather. Let's see, is this the first set or second game you showcase? This isn't the second one. The first one was Trail Makers, which I am really freaking sure of that we have showcased before. Uh, you still have more to say or claim rewards? Build up electricity in the air? Uh, Jordan Saxa is near. Capable of transforming into a ruling tempest, this Jotun hates only two things. Dark weapons and her ex Thor. <laughs> one of which you can craft yourself. Taking her down is your first priority if we are to stand a chance at hunting down the rest of the Jotunar. Uh, so, strapping, uh, so strap on that Viking helmet, Einjanar. And uh, you are getting... Bleh, we're just getting started. Golden horns. Okay. Okay, we need to kill the bosses for those. Hmm. Okay, this is where all of the stuff that we gather ends up. So we don't have to carry it around ourselves. But then again, still, where the heck do we find some freaking flints? Well, asking you shall receive. Hey there, it's me, Soledra. My brother and I are here to help guide you. I'm sure Ira has already told you all about us and our epic adventures together, but today is all about you. Well, she forgot to mention you, probably for a good reason. As you harvested some flints, that flint can be used to make a tool grinder from your oil forts. Try it, please. <laughs> Open your build menu to access your oil forts and place it wherever you like, and use the oil fort to grab the tool grinder. Neat. You can redeploy that oil forts anywhere you want for free. Now, I don't know. Or trade secrets, maybe. Upgrade your tool grinder for even better tools, such as the sickle. You can harvest all the flints. Bye. The, these two are just the the two polar opposites of cat personalities, huh? Yeah. The mean little bastards and the cuddly, uh, <laughs> all, the cuddly pleasers. Yeah, I guess it is. When I watch this, those cats were not in the game. Nor were the uh, animation or the character arts. Okay. Uh, Marco, I'll be right back. Just gonna get some snacks. Okay. Sniff, sniff. All right. What's this doing here? Igrisil's magic is all over the place these days. What you looted there is incredibly precious and smells fantastic. It's called an essence, the primordial element of a natural thing. You can use your shovel from the build menu to dig holes and plant these essences wherever you see fit. 
Over time, the essence will blossom into its true form and be ready for harvest. I even hear that there are saplings out there with special soil that can greatly speed up the process. Happy farming. And that reminds me, I, I'm pretty sure I've said this a few times before, but when, when people are trying to sell you stuff like quote unquote essential oils, they are not speaking in the, it's not essential as in the uh, required. It's well made with the essence of something. So basically all you're getting is an oil from with uh, yeah, an oil with like really squeezed out peanut or something. It's not required as others would uh, it's, uh, as those people who well <laughs> tried to sell you that stuff would make you believe. Oh dear. Okay. Kitty. Oh look, the engineer crafted an item. Slow clap. This is harder to do than it looks. Stupid pause. <laughs> I, I, I really the, uh... liking the vibe so far. Oh god, yeah, it has some good vibes indeed. If you place a storage chest within the radius of a station, materials deposited in there will automatically be used in the chest when crafting. Just remember that to actually put your materials in the storage chest. The little raven told me sharing was a problem among the Ingenar. You didn't hear it from me. Okay. So, builds. Tool grinder. Okay, that has its own little circle. And we can place it even outside of the range of the Olive Forge. Okay. Let's yeah, put it that... down here. Hopefully it'll just drop this. was not even here when I watched this first time. <laughs> well, there. Has, uh, haven't seen building that fast since Fudge Furry. Yep, butchered that. I, can, I see a bright future ahead of you, Anjanar. Well, brighter than uh, his, at least. Road construction is a great way to show off your creativity or just set up defenses. Constructions come in all shapes and sizes, so it's best to mix and match as you upgrade your stations and unlock newer, better recipes. When in build mode, you can rotate the camera, adjust the height of your construction, and even use your mallet to dismantle any pieces you no longer want. It even refunds the item when you do. Okay, so no loss of resources. I think they're speaking about a dwarf. Likely, with that kind of name. I just... Stronger to remember what uh, happened to them. Okay. And now we can harvest woods. Uh, real easy, apparently. Maple tree, just boop and down it goes. Level up. You're doing awesome, Einstein. I knew you had it in you. You just leveled up. This means you are now stronger and healthier. And the gods have rewarded your exploits with a blessing point. Opening blessings mean you from your inventory that you can assign each blessing point you earn to unlock new skills and abilities. More levels means more blessings. Yay! Yeah, it's very really clear which of these two I prefer, huh? Yeah, uh, so, try to remember. When I saw the first time, again, it was in earlier stages of this game. It was more... Yeah, you had got to explore, but you were doing a lot of wave defenses. Let's increase shield durability. Tears double hit. Trigger a second attack every two combo attacks. Okay. Free fall. Do not be afraid of heights. You no longer break a leg. Fall from any cliff without injury. Always useful. Uh, bow stuff. Taunt. Okay, there's quite a bit of stuff here, I will say. Scotty Spirits. Okay. Hmm. Let's start with something simple. If I remember right, Ur is one of four suns. Let's see, branches and flint. Okay. I think Ur is the god of sports. Hmm. Okay, yeah, it, I, I was looking around for a moment to see where it says where we what we get, and it's in the upper right there. Okay, underneath the clock. So I'm, I'm, getting, I'm going to guess that at some point we will start getting attacked during the night and such. It's probably where the, most of the waves come through. Hmm. Well, Actually, yeah, I think when I started to watch some videos to play it, I don't think even the bosses were a thing yet. Oh, maybe I only had one boss at that time. Okay. And, okay, I, 
I, I now get what kind of vibe I was getting from this game. It's basically... It's basically Valheim mixed with uh, Don't Starve. But less of the Starve has, for focus. Definitely moves... To, like, yeah, more... Yeah, more uh, Don't Starve area, I would say, yeah. Like, both on Norse, in mythology and all, both of these, and both have a... Would you call a Valheim shell shaded? Yeah, Valheim is more retro uh, stylish with its uh, view, but done better. Uh, let's see, Neil Cauldron, Craft. Yeah. We need iron. And also, okay. you, you don't really build bases. Uh, this is for, uh, this, uh, this for, but I guess I recall watching it, you don't build entire houses. You, you at least back then you had NPCs you could buy weapons and armor from. It's like, I, again, I guess they changed a lot. I don't remember the Valheim team and the team for this one actually talk to each other on another YouTube channel. Okay. And so they Marco all is back each other. with bread for a snack. <laughs> oh my god, what is that face? Yeah, that is uh, the basic face. <laughs> Uh, Nightfall, my favorites. When the moon comes out, shadowy creatures emerge from the depths to attack anything in sight, even your precious village if left undefended. It's not all bad news, though. Certain resources react differently at night, you know, and you can harvest them for unique ingredients. A little good can come from adventuring out at night, Einstein Arm. Uh, if you are not afraid of the dark, that is. Yeah, it make, makes sense that one of these is the moon means. and the other this. <laughs> Sorry, what? Uh, what then? Adventurer or such? Moonclaw. Okay. For clue means claw. So I'm gonna guess Mani might be old Norse for moon. And they did say they this was their favorite time of day. And the other one was called Soliania or something? Yeah, and well Sol is very known for being well sun in a lot of languages. Yeah. I want to show Sol is originally Norse for sun for oh, yeah that we're not winning that. Oh, it has also been used in uh, Rome, so might be a mistake tr uh, use of the word since in Sweden we do use the word so nowadays, but there have maybe been another word for it in the past, as far as I know. I guess you could say if you want to learn Norse. You would need to investigate looking at old Norse or not, and not accidentally look up at medieval Swedish or something like that. And yes, people, language has changed a lot. Yeah, just look up what old English was like. Depending on when you look at English, some of the English were closer to Scandinavian at one point. Hmm. We need to find more flints. Let's see, that's too dangerous. Hmm. I'm, I'm going to presume that these worlds are randomly generated. Hmm. Unsure. Let's see, Marco Souls? I thought it was Don't Starve and Valheim, not Dark Souls. It's, it's, it's more of a, a currency here for... <laughs> For buying things, not for you know, we don't. Well, we can lose. We do lose some when we die, but it's not as important as it is you know, would be in Dark Souls. Yeah, and oh, what the heck are those, those guys that you keep fighting? As some sort of bandits. Another level. Yep. No, oh, no, looks like some of your equipment is in need of repair. No worries, everything's fine, just access your All Forge repair function. Then use some of the souls you've gained. You remember, broken equipment cannot be used and is more expensive to repair. And to know a secret? Don't tell Mani that I told you this, but if you upgrade a piece of equipment to a higher rarity, it also repairs itself in the process. Super neat. Okay. That is neat, and also kind of makes sense. For if you're upgrading it, anyway, you probably end up repairing it as well. Some Depending flints. on situation. 
Okay, I like that it also keeps track of what you can build with the stuff you've gathered so far. Hmm. So yeah, I don't really... Hmm. I'm a bit 50-50 on this for possible streaming, because there is some story, but it is very much similarly like uh, Valheim meant to be played in multiplayer and such. Yeah, like... I would say a maybe on... I think we will put it on a maybe until further investigation. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Tools. It's almost broken. Okay, let's head back. There's no run function. But you're always running. True. Okay. Uh, repair. Tools. Repair. Okay. I, I, I guess you, could, you should actually say is... There's no walk function. Also fits, yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Need iron. I saw a few deposits of that around. And also, she has a quest for you. Yeah, that's uh, that's taking on the Jotun. I think for that, it would be best to wait a bit until we have some actual weaponry instead of just our fists. Yeah. Hmm. I suppose you're not... Uh, have you even made a stone axe or anything like that? And we have an axe and a pickaxe now from Flint. Uh, just need to find some metal. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's a wolf. Okay. Almost enough for an armor loom. Hmm. Uh, I, see, I feel that is a good example. Nowadays we call a wolf Vari. Okay. But in the old Norse, we called it them. Ulv. Uh, hello there. I was <laughs> to say, we still use Ulv impartial to werewolves, Vorulvar, and what the heck did we get to see before we even say the word? Yeah. <laughs> Something that is very much looking like a, a werewolf. Yeah. Vorulv. Vorulvar. It's kind of funny. It's, we still use that. We're for wolf, for werewolves. Okay, for a moment I thought they jumped down. Var vargar låter väl... Say... Ah! What's a good full Swedish there? To say var vargar sounds very weird, I want to say. Bloody heck. Whatever these things are, they use clubs that look ass tack. With the obsidian teeth and such. Hello. That particular item there, that's what we uh, that we in the know call Valhalla XP. The Valkyries use it to track your eternal progress across every world. Gather all that you can to raise your Valhalla level to earn offerings of golden horns that you can exchange for unique rewards on the main menu. Valhalla XP is automatically consumed and contributes to your overall Valhalla level. No need to abandon this world. You can save and quit and return where you left off, no problem. Okay, so encouraging play across multiple worlds and such. Okay. Oop, let's not go mess with that, especially since we're low on health. Okay, but now we know that those... The campfire symbols signify enemy camps. And that's the timer for this game. Uh, I have to say... I'm a bit more impressed than I actually expected to be from this. Same. Like, again, when I watched it, it was new and came out, out around a, li a little bit after Valheim. So they have... Like, Valheim had changed over the years, but you still can recognize it. Yeah, this one has changed a lot more than that. Yeah, this is a lot. And the biggest change Valheim did was to the, his combat system. Is I would say it was an improvement. Do that some people who are probably angry with do probably would for they had most of the sheast effect of it. Because they probably el eliminated it with the up the grade, which allowed everyone to an easier fight in Valheim. Okay, but he, teleport back. He is so massive remote what they have improved. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll well, at, the, at the very least, I'll probably be playing this game more myself, just to see how f much it further goes. Uh, but yeah, we'll, let's put it on a fifth, on a maybe for now, I'd say. 
Again, on to further uh, investigation. Yeah, also cosmetics. Uh, okay, so this is where we can use those golden horns and such. Not sure about that one, but yeah, cosmetic shops can always be a bit of an iffy thing. Especially uh, if, you if they only require in-game currency that don't require you to use real money, fine. Like, you know, like Deep Rock. Yeah. But if they, but as quick as those rec uh, have the option to use real money? Yeah, then it becomes a problem. But yeah, moving on to game number three. Yeah, apparently this is a series that has been going on for quite some time. Though not in video games, I believe. Ah. Oh? Okay, we first have to wait for it to freaking load, of course. The troubleshooter with the sub... <laughs> at least the... Uh, the, the shortcut on the uh, desktops uh, adds the subtitle Abandoned Children. Uh, let's go for offline. Yep. Yeah. Uh, new company. Let's see. Story. A difficulty for those who wish to simply enjoy scenario missions only available on offline modes. Uh, enemy attacks after it you know, secures its safety. Uh, it's... it's uh, yeah, you can see that this is this is going to be a very a, a bit of a technical game, huh? Yeah. Okay, so let's leave it on story. Let's see any additional sus uh, parallel world. This feature lets you su uh, succeed. Already created companies, crafting methods, research. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, so basically, uh, new game plus or something. High risk, high return. Limits to growth. Okay. Oh, level limits. Okay, yeah. Let's not activate any of those and just get started. Let's see, Marco. Okay, I'm studying history and on the current page I'm on it says that Croatia had four factions, one state, while the others went to explore and later formed Russia, Poland, and I don't know the third one. I highly doubt it since it says it's a legend. Okay. Yeah. Russia was formed by many cultures. It's time the timer. City state Valhalla. Okay. Yeah, Valhalla, a city state founded primarily for the profit of the three world powers, cannot officially have an army of its own. That oh. sounds weird to hear. AE803, after what? Valhalla Year 10. In an attempt to suppress soaring crime rates, the Valhalla government granted private security guards for, uh, following specific tests the authority to investigate crimes and arrest criminals. Legacy. Troubleshooter. The private security guards granted the authority to investigate and arrest. Without any strong deterrence, troubleshooters have been working actively to stem the rise in criminal activity against the Valhalla government. Okay. Despite the troubleshooters' efforts, due to an uncooperative government and scarce police force, the crime rate isn't diminishing. Uh, so it's a fighting substance instead of causes uh, thing. As a result, the civilians have become desensitized to crime and indifferent to others. A week ago in Crowbill Station, troubleshoot. Commander, we've lost contact with the advanced squads. Comms from HQ indicate that troubleshooters are on their way. On their way? What's, what's their EDA? EDA is 20 minutes, sir. Estimated time of arrival. We don't have that much time. We proceed with the mission as planned. The culprits can't be far. Move up and stick to cover. Okay, put all enemies out of action. All allies out of action. Okay. All right, then let's move out. Let's see, the first range of movement is determined by the move distance of a unit, which is marked by the sky blue border over traversable surfaces. Yeah. Okay. Very so XCOM. Yeah, a bit XCOM-like or Actually, yeah, you can use XCOM as a genre now. Yep. Uh, so, let's see, yeah, second we... movement. Oh, yep. oh, okay. Go ahead. Uh, so probably do good to specify the Xbox genre, just to avoid confusion. 
You said Xbox, not XCOM, I think. XCOM! <laughs> Let's see. Second movement. The limit of the second range of movement is 60% of the maximum range of the first. The second range is marked with a yellow border on traversable surfaces. Okay. What happened to the advanced squad? Maybe just need to move. Uh, well, I, I think we know what happened to them. Alpha actual, unable to ID, ID the target. Alpha 1, move up and then secure the position. Alpha 1, copy, change the position. Oh, Characters can cover long distance by dashing. This uses all of units' action points. Yeah, just move there in one go. Just have two clicks. I'm not, can I, I'm not su surprised how horrible this place is already due to... Well, they, they, this is not a uh, corporate government, underfunded police force, yeah. and all other things like... If they don't, if no one cooperates with each other, then yeah, this also will happen. Yeah, let's see. This position provides low cover, which is highlighted with a yellow uh, with an inverse Ukraine flag. Enemy hit chance is decreased by 20% when under attack from the same direction as the side of the unit that displays the cover icon. Okay. Uh, unit HP, health points, basic stuff is zero, dead. State cover, yeah, what kind of cover they're behind. And action points, two action points per turn. Will Turn will end when all have been used. Alpha 2, I have eyes on Delta, any survivors. Visuals unclear from current location. Very on. Yep. Okay. Alpha 2 pushing forward to get a better visual. This position provides full cover, which is highlighted with blue, decreased by 40%. Okay. And yes, I'm pretty sure most, if not all, of the voice acting in this game is Japanese. Alpha 3 making a sprint for the cover up front. Okay. This, so far, this tutorial is doing a pretty good job at this. Now, for actual going middle, all units stand by. Okay, action queue. Basically, who gets to act when. Um, let's see, currently available units, next turn units, action time, predicts the... Uh, uh, the action time points determine the amount of time until a relevant character can make a turn uh, after the... The ne next turn after the end turn of the currently available character, it's calculated according to a unit's speed and may either increase or decrease due to ability or event. Okay, so it's not like fully like XCOM in that way that you get to turn, you get to have all of your characters act and then the enemy acts. It's more like, uh, uh, yeah, just other team-based fighters uh, where each character's speed is the individual. Like say Final Fantasy. Yeah. I would still call it XCOM uh, within XCOM genre, but it has its own thing as well, uh, a bit of hybrid yeah. of others as well. It's it's fine. Before the cops arrive, and those bastards come. Alpha actual tango spotted. All units move up and await my signal. Okay, when an enemy unit is within your line of sight, the enemy will be shown on the action queue. Conversely, when an enemy on the action queue goes out of your line of sight, the enemy will disappear from the action queue. Okay. So, risk and reward with stealth. Because if you can't see them, you don't know where they may go. The level 1 alertness status of enemies. When a unit with this status detects a foe, it moves to the nearest and most effective cover, engaging in battle. Additionally, the unit can send backup requests to its non-battle allies within its line of sight. Allies that receive backup requests will always join the fight and move to the co and move to contest the nearest foes. When hostiles are under standby orders, their line of sight is marked with, you know, <clears throat> with exclamation markers within the center of traversable tiles. Okay. So no guessing as to where you can and can't go without getting spotted. Moving up for target suppression. Okay. Overwatch. Uh, well, for anyone familiar with XCOM and like, they will know this. Basically, get ready to fire on anything that moves within your line of sight. Yeah, it's almost a must to use. Yeah, since it's typically better to try and catch something when it's moving out of cover 
and trying to shoot it while it's in it. Two status on Delta. Yeah, no. It has been points where you feel like you the only way to f beat the game is doing a lot of Overwatch. So it sometimes feels like Overwatch is the one that most likely will hit yep. for some reason, unlike the uh, regular attacks. Delta is down. 90%. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. But our orders, Commander. Leave Delta to the rescue squad and proceed with the mission. Over two, move to flank the enemy. Copy that. Okay, let's zoom back out. I think other genre, XCOM genre games have been doing their best to improve the percentage, yep. so it's not like the original. But for some reason, so much to try to keep it. It's oh, so much for stealth. Oh no. And it's one down already. Okay, enemy spotted. If an ally in non-combat, in non-battle status enters the range of sight of a hostile target, the status will be changed to battle status. Unit that is changed to battle status requests for help from the nearby allies, and the unit uh, and the help requested allies will move to the nearest covering area to end the turn. Okay, so does that mean that enemy at the front? We've been spotted. Um, Okay, yeah, that complicates the matter. Squad, hold your fire. Secure the civilians first. Level 3, moving into secure the civ civilians. Okay, put all enemies out of action, rescue all civilians. Okay, so mission objectives can change in the middle of a, a mission. A civilian help, you can rescue endangered civilians by moving next to them within the dashed circular... Uh, uh, dashed circular zone. Civilian in need of assistance runs to safety automatically in response to being secured by a friendly unit. In this lead there are kinds such as injured civilian, unsettled civilian, and civilian in panic. Okay, I, I like that this is a factor in things. That you you're not just hunting down criminals and such, you actually need to go help civilians and such. Okay. Doing rescue, you should have come earlier. <laughs> no need to <laughs> no need to be complaining now. <laughs> Probably very much what he's thinking. Ayo, hey, ain't something it's position of remaining civilians. There's a kid near my position. Copy. Squad eliminate all targets surrounding the child. Uh Okay. Some of you prefer to not do unless you have to. Yes, there's always a chance of accidentally hitting both targets you don't mean to from just misfires, ricochets, all sorts of that. And of course, uh, return fire from the assholes. Yeah, or oh, worse. They may decide to take them as hostage. Yeah. It's also complicated for you want to then have to make sure they don't get the chance to do that. It yeah, you hear yourself. There is so much that can go wrong. And for one, going in. Sounds like they've got backup plans. Uh, that's a bad spot for, of cover since it's only one way. But it'll help against these two. And for one, focusing all fire surrounding the civilian. Okay, you can aim for the next target by using shift, tab, button, or clicking the enemy icon in the target list that is above the target information window of the aim. Okay. So, uh, there. Okay. 80% chance to crit. Oh, since he's out of cover. And for two, proceeding to rescue the targets. Also, you said this a long standing series, right? You said it would be a light novel or comic before it became a game? I think so. It's Marco, this game looks very similar. Yeah, it's very much. It... Stop complaining, kid. But. It is where obviously mm. it was definitely inspired by XCOM, but it has mm. its own style as well to differentiate, but you can see there's a clear inspiration. Yeah. No more civilians, I repeat, no more civilians. It's the affirmative, eliminate enemies exposed in the flanks. I don't know where exactly this started, but maybe as a comic or such, yeah. Uh, covering exposed. The sides of targets with that symbol and that symbol are exposed and rumble to the attacking target character. The flanking attack bonus will be applied. 
Okay, 50% extra chance to critical hit. So yeah, you'll want to try and flank wherever you can. But on the on, on this <laughs> on the other hand, the enemy will want to do the same to you. Oh come on, 69, really? 69% <laughs> chance to hit with a lot of okay uh, uh, yeah th this puts in a lot more work a lot more detail than uh, XCOM would or at least it weather? shows it more hmm? yep weather rain minus 10 percent no block chance calculated damage yeah, armor included okay crit chance and crit damage Okay, I, I, I like how detailed that this is. It's, it's not being overly complicated. It's just being detailed. Yeah, the, the damage that it showed was just the damage from normal attacks. I'll kill you all if you guys... Some, the boys are almost here. Try not to piss them off. The three, can you engage? Negative, I need to get closer. Need two targets left, we can easily defeat them. And for three percent help for attack and stand by. Yes, got it. Okay, into cover. Alpha three on standby. Standby is an ability which ends the turn now, and in return the character receives a bonus to action time in their next turn. When using this ability right after the turn starts, next turn's action time decreased by 50%. Using the ability after expending the first range of movement or consuming an action point increases by 25%. Okay. It's better than just skip turn. It's skip the rest of your turn and be, well, quicker on the draw next. Hey, hey, look who's here. We have more of them. Commander, enemy reinforcements from the front. And one of our guys is exposed. Enemies incoming from behind. Oh, yep. This is a bad situation. I should have waited for the troubleshooters. Speaking of... Oops. <laughs> Troubleshooter Elbus joining the action. Apprentice Troubleshooter Shion, turning the action. I'm here, Irene. <laughs> Squad, support the Troubleshooters and take on, uh, all enemies down. Oh. It's been 20 years since the establishment of Valhalla and 10 years since the implementation of the Troubleshooter program. Since then, many Troubleshooters have become active and many crimes were solved. However, due to the crime rate increasing with the growth of the city, Valhalla is still the world's capital of crime. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't think it's mostly due to the damn government. For seems the police and troubleshooters are cooperating as much as they can. Yeah, this is this is a, this is fighting the symptoms, not the causes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll need to look up again from where... I, I first learned about this game from a, a streamer, I forget specifically who, uh, six months before, Yggdrasil Districts, Field Experience. <laughs> uh, but they did say that it had some history behind it. Let's see, to work as a troubleshooter in Valhalla, you need an official license. The final step in the process is to complete three months of field training with a troubleshooter company. Firefly Street Reconstruction District. I saw the fuzz down there. Yeah, just the usual crap. It <laughs> looks like we haven't spotted us yet, Mr. Jean. Have good eyes too, boy. I can see that. Very Kill Bill suit. Alright, of course. Sorry. Uh, let's see. I heard he completed his apprenticeship with Black Pro. This might be a good chance to test him. Okay, this is new. Let's Elvis take on the task himself. Why don't you try this one on your own? Think you can handle it? Yes, sir. Leave it to me. What a yes, ma'am. What the? Where the hell is he going? This is troubleshooter. I mean, a friend is troubleshooter Elvis. What the hell? When did he get all, uh, all the way up here? Everyone, drop your weapons and surrender. 
Never mind that, just shoot him. <laughs> nope. This is Gene of Arwell. Reach for the sky. I thought he was leaving this to me. Now, you think I'll give up that easy? <laughs> okay, that was a rather dumb idea to just run in the middle of things. Okay, defeat all enemies. If either of them goes out of action, it's done. Okay, dashing attack. Abilities with movement attack with movement will allow the unit to move to location and attack in a single turn of their current position. Most prominent attack with movement, you can even attack the enemy after dashing. Okay, so attack is basically a, a bonus action then. Okay, there we go. The, gra the graphics are maybe a bit simplistic, but they, they, they do work with the worlds. Oh yeah. Let's see, SP and they do look good. Uh, this symbol indicates the currently available unit's SP type. Metal uh, bonus will be granted depending on the SP type. Shows the current SP amount. If the SP amount is at its maximum, overcharge will be activated. SP will be reset when overcharge is removed. You can check out for more detailed information through tooltip by moving the mouse cursor over it. Okay, good tooltips is also always a highly preferred uh, some <laughs> a highly preferred feature. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 100% chance to hit, so there we go. <laughs> you damn fool. Oh man, there he goes again. I'm getting real tired of repeating myself, Albus. Cut all the I'm the troubleshooter Albus crap. Don't waste any time and subdue the criminals immediately. But the troubleshooter regulations say, Albus, you're in the field. Sometimes the rules will get you in trouble. Keep in mind that this is the real deal. People could get hurt or even die. Understood, sir. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Well, at least the kid is optimistic. Oop. Positive mindset. Mas okay. Troubleshooter company Arwell, renowned for their suppression tactics, assigns Gene Lewis as Elvis's mentor. Marco, what is this game called? I'm quite interested. It's called Troubleshooter Abandoned Children. Well, our boy got wasted by those guys. If it weren't for those Arwell jerks, I would have kicked their asses. It, it took way too long, boy. You told me not to rush in last time. Field setting regime involved a grueling daily routine of constantly patrolling the streets and taking down violent criminals. There's no time to waste, let's move on. Understood. Okay. <laughs> Ready to breach. Hmm, he's getting better. Competence mastery. We're going in once I get up there. Yep. <laughs> it, it's, it's a montage. Hey, off to somewhere nice. Pardon? The enemy went that way. Where the hell are you going? Uh, I don't think he's going to like it if I tell him the enemy went over the wall, so I'm going to take a detour. And the truth. Uh, truth. The enemy went over the wall, so I was going around. You fool, do you? <laughs> okay, that, that some of that goes by a brief, <laughs> a bit too fast to read. I thought it might work, Mr. Gene. Are you back talking, me boy? I'd find do whatever you want and just forget becoming a troubleshooter. Patience. Yep. No, you're right, sir. My apologies. It won't have an answer. He needs to work on his attitude. Yep. What's with the suit? Is it for you? Yeah, yeah. What do you want? Some of the boys are getting too involved in the religious crap. It's none of my business. Just tell me how much I'm getting paid. Damn it, there's all well, no, publishers are right here. Let's beat it, dude. Elvis had completed his apprenticeship with Black Pearl to become a troubleshooter, but... The pressure from Gene and the stress of the final test were slowly wearing Elvis out. In week 11... Mission after mission, all in this awful weather. The only thing that carried him through a hard field training was... How are you doing, Aunt Lily? Aunt Lily. She has been supporting Elvis ever since the disaster left him on his own. Of course. 
Everyone in the company is really nice. You don't have to worry so much about me. Because he had been alone since that day, Lily's steady attention was a massive comfort to Albus. Okay, young Lily. I think we'll be free this weekend. Would it be possible to meet up? Since she was always so busy, she could rarely find time to meet up with Albus in person. Yeah, I'm sorry, Alice. Your excuse was always the same. No, no, it's alright. You don't have to be sorry. Albus couldn't understand why his aunt wouldn't meet up with him. Regardless, she always gave Albus her full support. Albus wished he could one day thank her in person for all the support she'd given him. We'll be able to see each other someday. Albus, let's hope we're proud of ourselves when the day comes. Alright, I'll do my best to be someone and you can be proud of. Nimbus wanted to help others, just as Lydia had helped him. Alice, come on, boy, double time. Yes, sir, right behind you. Troubleshooter. This is my pause from now on. Three months ago in Firefly. Official. Okay, gotta catch my breaths. This keep. The bit of a vibe that I'm feeling from this game is a bit like XCOM mixed with uh, uh, the Cyber Sleuth games. You mean Digimon Cyber Sleuth? Yep. In the tone at the moment. Like, it has silly, but I get the feeling it's going to go dark at certain points as well. You also like <laughs> Cyber Sleuth. Yeah. Are you right, Mr. Gene? Probably not. You better work harder this time. Think of it as another lesson in the unexpected. Understood. Leave it to me. All right, then I'll be sporting you from the back. It's the current situation. A number of wanted gang members have been identified nearby. All right, as of now, all will, will take over here in the case. Roger. Reinforcing our wall. Let's move. Okay, put all out of action. Okay. I'm guessing the training gloves are coming off for this one. Likely. And I would have a theory is what it might be around with the auntie. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about being proud of ourselves. That gives me a feeling that she's uh, done some stuff to not be proud of. Uh, she knows she's supporting by doing criminal things. Or... <laughs> They might be involved uh, in some uh... shady stuff, all the same. Uh, I was gonna say pornof pornography. <laughs> also a possibility. Backup forces. Valhalla's public officials provide backup forces to support the troubleshooters depending on the calamity level of the case. The backup forces can be controlled by the player during the mission, and all the items and mastery acquired by them will be kept by the player. Okay. And the timer uh, went a... off, but let's finish off this first. That's what the Ochoa Oxygen is, that she's simply... Uh, one of those sad ones that are always overworking. Could be. <clears throat> okay, there's some over there. Let's stay in this position. So, stand by. Can we get around to a flanking spot or such? Hmm. Let's get you there. Stand by. Okay, you... Hmm. Let's put you over here. Oh, more of them. Okay, <laughs> just in the absolute corner of it, huh? Reposition. Oh dear. Okay, and you get over there. <laughs> we have an action cam. Is this your last day today, to to boy? Okay. <laughs> the better. Mastery acquired. Putting an enemy out of action gives you a chance to acquire one of masteries the enemies possess. Okay. You can apply a mastery to your character that can learn the acquired mastery through mastery board after you complete the mission. Okay. 
tactical envelopment. Two training points. There are more allies and enemies within your line of sight. Hit chance increases by 15%. Okay. This could get very interesting. Yeah, checkpoints, yeah, automatically updated depending on the progress of the mission. So you can continue from checkpoint if you fail or give up on mission. The four checkpoints are saved since the last update point. Returning to checkpoint consumes 50 vigors of all characters engaged in battle. Okay, so that is good, but you will get a bit of a punishment for it. Uh, I'll start the leaning yes for this game, but again, it's only because I want to say yes, but yeah. investigation first. Yeah. Enemy locations have been updated. So here's the thing about these games. They can be very long, or they can also be very short. Yeah. Okay, the, these haven't been alerted yet. Okay, I like that. That's Okay, they did speak about all the ones in line of sight would get alerted. And since these weren't, well, they're still uh, inactive here. So you just... Actually, what's this here? Check fire. Uh, consumes all remaining suppression possible. Let's put you on overwatch for now. I don't think they're going to move. Okay. Um, I'm going to presume that those guys aren't going to move. Anyways, everyone one at a time, please. Uh, oh, the music. Yeah, it's good music. Oh yeah, but they're also very... I feel you can also what I say with this. Very anime. Yeah. High, high energy, but not too high energy. Yeah, oh, just oh, right, right... Just right amount. Which makes it good. Okay, so characters can heal. I kind of completely forgot about this one not getting killed in one hit. <laughs> well, let's correct that. This is so tiring. Okay. Um, there we go. Okay, you stay there still until the rest are in position. Yeah, I'm leaning, I'm leaning a highly up to a yes at the moment, yeah. Uh, Same. Yes, again. Maybe you agree with me with that. Leaning yes. After investigation. Me, correct. For that investigation, it will be, it must be the deciding point if we stream it or not. Uh, Since, formula, we might need to grind. But depending on what style of grind, like. Can we grind off stream without affecting the story? No, we'll have to look. Oh, come on, 90, <laughs> 90 plus percent chance and still missing. Hello. Oh, no. Oh, the so other one didn't get alerted. It's come like this there. Oh, you were just extremely unlucky. Let's see, low chance to hit. Good chance, nope. 58%? Hmm. Oh god, I think I remember something when I played XCOM on my PS3. I think I had like 98% chance to hit with three characters. All of them missed. Yeah, of course. Oh, wait. I think the fourth one who had lower chance Got a crit somehow. Get, get into full cover. And open fire. Okay, that'll do it in one go. Tactical envelopment. Let's see. This game is very familiar. What is the game called? I agree. This game looks like a great game. The music, too. Okay. Um. Not really the best of spots to move to and still be able to attack from. Let's move over there. And let's see, 70%. He's the only one he has line of sight on, so may as well. Probably would have been better to do an Overwatch, but oh well. Yeah, 
I don't understand sometimes with some XCOM games, like, you have such high percentage on hitting, but you end up missing oftenly for some reason, it makes me wonder, is it supposed to be a lie or what is it counting from? Yeah, it's more that the number is inaccurate. <laughs> really just going to throw a punch through that. Okay, you're going to pay for that one. Yeah, it is only one thing. When you have 100% aim, you will never miss. But okay, if you just don't better. miss 100%, unless there's some debuff on the enemy to always miss, miss like a certain buff, then, uh, it, then something would be wrong. Otherwise. Really, you can't jump over that? Uh... It's there not we exactly long-legged. <laughs> okay, yeah. Highly leaning towards a yes. We will investigate how long this game might go for, though. <clears throat> so for now, let's skip. Okay. Also, we get equipment. Ordinary uniform. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, Marco, that happened to me when I played Fire Emblem. I had a 1% chance to hit and got a critical hit. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just put something in random. Okay. Albus Bernstein. Uh, oh. Special Masteries, okay. Okay. Yeah, he's going to be a melee character no matter what it looks like. A complete the scenario mission, what I want to do. Okay. Uh, let's just get through all of this. Nope. Okay. Exit game. Yeah, highly leaning towards a yes with this one. Yep, uh... Just, mm. just for some like a broken record, leaning yes until we've done further investigation. And we have time for one more, or one full one more, I'd say. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, this game does not want to go into uh, full screen. Uh, give me a sec. Yes. So it did give us a good wa uh, warning about the intro. Yeah. Uh, gameplay. There. Uh, let's change this. Uh, there. Okay. Um. Yep. Okay. This doesn't take it. There we right. go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't want to work in windowed modes. But yeah, this game is called Try Again. So let's get started. System initiates. Hello. Yes, this is Sophie. Yeah, of course, I've, I've been working non-stop on the game. I cannot wait for you guys to, uh, to see it. Oh, you're coming here tomorrow. Damn it! Penny, Penny, wake up right now. Benny, let's go, come on, man. We don't have all day. Oh, hey. My publisher is coming tomorrow. So we need to run through this last test build. <sighs> Do I have a choice? Okay, you are not hearing me. I said, today is your last day as a test dummy. So first of all, you're welcome. Wait, really? Oh, finally, I'm going to be the lead character in a video game. What? I'm... I'm... A... I just hope it works. It's got to be perfect. Unconcerned. Holy! Yeah, this game needs a bit of cleanup. A lot of it. Who did this happen? Checkpoint system implemented. What? What's wrong? You want to make this faster? Maybe cut some of these jumps. <sighs> okay. Solid suggestion. 
Yums are fine as long as you don't do too, too, too many of them or they are in fair. Container above. But yeah, uh, people might recognize them. Oh, now, okay, now we're going into the 3D. You, you like this camera angle, right? Because I feel like, I mean, I think it adds juice, right? Juice? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> you didn't update this bridge at all? No. What do you call that? Yeah, wall running though? <laughs> Haven't you already made this? Redundant! Redundant, seriously? You think this is redundant? No, no, no! <laughs> you almost accidentally re replying to her. <laughs> yeah, I think some people might recognize the voice actor here. I read my bro. Whatever, you think nothing I make is original. Fine, fine, I'm starting the section over. What the hell are you doing? Please stop! Uh, really? Oh, that was meant to be. What the hell was that? Why am I having to deal with your mistakes? That's your job! You're a test character! Uh, if I'm just a test character, then why bother? So I can wake up tomorrow and see that you still haven't made any progress i don't want your ideas or your suggestions i know what i'm doing just keep going okay okay whatever you say but yeah this game is a bit like a terror bane but more platforming than well rpg adventures oh i hate that sound Sounded a little close to my ear. Let's try it at this angle. Oh yeah, people are gonna love the constant oh. camera switching. Can you say nausea? Vomit. <laughs> Duke. Shut up, Benny. Constant kisser is good, but I am worried he does criticize a little bit too much or something. We only met these two, so. Yeah. Mm. There. Okay. I'm not sure if she's, she's the one to be unfair or is he's being the unfair at the moment. Yep. For all you know, both being a can, might be unfair. This is probably a very bad combination, but both are unfair. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Good. Okay, but yeah, the, the voice actor for Benny here, that's Ryan Reynolds, aka Deadpool and such. Oh, what the heck. Jesus, I have to climb this? Fifty hours later. <laughs> did you... Did you build a skyscraper? I'm confused. What the hell is this game? This is an empty room? I mean, yeah. those are train tracks? I guess this is a test facility, but... I mean, what? If there's wind in a tunnel... <laughs> that... Oh, I hated that. Well, aren't you glad to respawn in the train? Oh, respawning sucks. Where am I? Surprise! <sighs> a few seconds of that. Watch out for that. Wait, so now I'm on a subway. This doesn't make any sense! Yeah, it was too early with the jump there. Yep, deactivate train, one. Uh, keep... Uh, being honest, I, I'd put this game on the po um, on the list of possible side you know, quest games, uh, but apparently it can be beaten really fast, so we may be able to just beat it on in this. Ooh, let me try something. Uh, 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 
but we have had games where we were able to finish it within one or two streams. Yeah. So, have we ever had a kiss? This place is pretty fun. Wait, you really like it? Oh my god, okay. Yes, <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. I, just, I think it needs more trains. Uh, no! <laughs> Don't Gone. start that meme. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. I think it was actually accidentally finished a showcase on a game in the past. Yep. And maybe there will be another case of that. But we'll have to see. The, the, the times of going off, uh, load scene end credits, but that's it. Missing reference, end credit not found. Oops. Okay, so if I take the shipping containers and combine them with the conveyor belts and have the subway cars moving... Yes! Okay, there is no way anyone has seen anything like this before. Hey! Hello! <laughs> I see you're satisfied. Uh, everything works great. Can I move to the next build now? I think someone hey, may have a bit of a confidence issue with this. Uh, hello. Whoa. Wait. Uh. Wait, are these all me? Where am I? Look, Benny, the game still needs a few more tweaks. You need a few more tweaks. I I'm confused. You said it was my last day. It is. Uh, for your character model. I have to replace it with something more... final. You lied to me. How long have I been doing this? I mean, I've been working on this game for four years. Four... Four years! Okay, well, some games take ten. No, no. You know what? I'm not waiting around for that. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here right now. I'm sorry, Benny, but I can't let you go. I need your data. Chase him down. And now things are a lot more active, huh? Okay, going to need to work on those swings at least. Because they seem to be going rather slow, so maybe I need to. Let's see. Okay, still ahead by a bit. Okay, that one got close. My publisher wants a franchise, a cute character, marketable, easy to make a blush out of. Personally, I think you are so cool, but they are looking for something else. I, I guess this is what happens to all with, with every time that we respawn, huh? Likely. Uh, no, no. No, no, please, I'm begging you. Put me in the final game. I can be cute. I can be functional. I wish it were up to me. The publisher controls everything. But it's your game. Why do you need to listen to them? Because this is a huge opportunity for me. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you should sacrifice your integrity just for the sake of selling some toys or plushes or whatever. You're good at what you do. You know what? You're right. Hey. That was easy. Or... Also, thinking of merchandise right off the bat... Walk through that door to enter the final build. Hey, this is a trick. For this. this is going straight into some sort of killing machine or extractor. Yeah, this... We're gonna knock him dead tomorrow. Yes, we will. Hey, it's Sophie. I've locked all my features. Oh, wait till you see my main character. I call him Benny. You are gonna love him. Okay. 
Make okay, it as I... fast as it can look at the time! <laughs> yeah, that, that was less than 15 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Impressive work around it, but... <laughs> very much more of a, a test case. <laughs> yeah, huh. it does have a bit of a relatable comedy, like... I feel like many developers have this problem with the uh, publishers. Yeah, and we're, Not we're watching old versions. Yeah, like, there are many publishers that are good, that have been coming up here and there. But there has also been really... bad publishers. Yeah. <laughs> and some of them still around. And some actually question how they are still around. Like, EA apparently have been horrible to work with for... Decades. Extremely long time, all the way to Nintendo time. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure this, this game is free, but yeah, as a showcase, uh, I'm I'm interested what uh, this developer can make in the future because this was still solid, short but solid. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing these are yeah earlier versions of well the game in universe and in real life. It is nice to see it being tested. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, I knew it was. I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing uh, how long to beat was being generous when they said it would take about 30 minutes. Snarky comment about me. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. guess. For the minute, on a person who is not used to these games, I guess you are very obviously used to these kind of games. Well, I guess we have time for showing off a bit of one more then. Then we'll have to more. cut. I'm... Well, let's go a bit short with this one because I know this one is going to be a no. I recognize the name. I think I've seen a little bit of it. <clears throat> let's see. Marco. The train sound just reminded me of what remains of Edith Finch. Uh, are you going to go into position no. game? Let me take a move. Yeah, I'll move it manually then. Uh, yeah, this game is Turmoil, and it may have been seen... It's likely been seen by some people already, uh, because... I know that some YouTubers played this for a bit, not too long. Oh, yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, seed number, select an area and enter, or enter a seed number. Fertile lands, deserts. Uh, okay, start new campaign. There's a DLC, the heat is on. Not sure what that would add. Oh, yeah, let's start. Uh, we can select a character here. It has no effect at all, I'm pretty sure. We have Blanche, Joshua, Daisy, and Ricardo. I swear that they... Nothing against the name Joshua. I just feel it almost... haunting, dude. I see that name everywhere. It is a pretty common one. Hi there, Extremely future royal common. baron. Welcome to my soon-to-be lovely town. The old industry will be booming here. Let's get to work. Click on the wagon and I'll show you the basics of oil drilling. Actually, anyway, I've got some 14 fire clips. And I swear, I think I may have seen 20 of the contestants named Joshua. <laughs> okay. Welcome to your first oil mining operation. Just follow my instructions and the oil will be flowing in no time. Before you can start drilling for oil, you have to know where to drill. Hire a dowser to take care of this. Shortcut D. So we just plunk them down. Nice job. Now give him a bit of time to find out where the oil is. Dum de dum. Uh, yeah, basically this is a game where well you go drilling for oil and try to be the best of out of all four characters. And that's about the start and end of it. He found oil. It's time to start drilling. Select the oil rig. Oil can always be found somewhere below a dowser. So place the rig right there. There. Drag downwards from this point and release all the, uh, at the other point to connect the oil to the oil. Of course, you can't see where, so you have to guess. But for this case, they're going to show us where. These are randomly generated each time, I believe. And yeah, vision gets revealed. We hit oil. 
You struck a wheel, but where should you take it? To left ink, of course. Select the horse wagon icon. Put a wagon here, it will automatically collect oil and unload it and make the company. Ka Ching. Let's put one there. And yeah. Find oil, get oil, sell oil. This introduction ends when you, you know, brought the cash amount back up to one you know, 1350. You know, <coughs> so yeah. Simple introduction. Of course, things will not stay this simple. Nice work. Let's head back to town. Good job. Now it's time to meet for the real work. Come to the town hall to meet your rivals and get yourself a parcel of land for your next venture. And welcome everyone. Let's first introduce ourselves. Howdy, partner. This dude has been herding cattle long enough to know that nice and superior are cold and lonely. They open in money with oil is as easy as throwing glasses. Delighted to make your acquaintance. I made a nice living in real estate, but it's time for a new business plan. I'm going on the ground. I don't like the dilly dally, so let's get to work. Hello there. Does being a lawyer sound interesting? Well, in truth, it's kind of boring and I couldn't handle it. I've got a serious case of oil fever and the only cure is finding oil. <laughs> Let me assign you to your own piece of land. The first one is on the house. Now let's get to drilling before I change my mind. Good luck. Good day. To celebrate the opening of my brand new bank, I've opened an account for each of you. Yeah, everyone starts with 20,000. You can also visit me if you need to borrow some extra cash. Or come by to view a financial report of your last venture. And yeah, this will expand as things go. For now, let's go dig. We'll take 20 as startup. So we can't take more than that, I think. Alright, you know the drill. Hire dowsers to find oil, build a rig to drill straight down to it. So yeah, yeah let's hire the... two. Why well, I watched it a little bit, but uh, not much else. Yeah. Okay, our time on each of these parcels is limited. So, yeah, you need to try and come back with more money than you, well, brought in first. So let's do a little dig there. Go to about there might be good. And hire at least one of these. Make money by selling me your oil. Press the button and press this button to send your wagons to my company. The oil price always fluctuates heavily. Keep a close eye on it. Yeah, that can also affect. And just short of the oil there, completely short there. If you're low on cash, you can take out a loan against a very reasonable interest rate. Click on the cash counter to open the finance window. Oh, and right straight by the oil there. That's not really a big one either there. Okay. And yeah, now the oil gets pumped in. The towers can keep a certain amount in them before they start overflowing, at which point oil gets lost. Uh, yeah, that's about the long and short of it. Uh, there will be more stuff that gets unlocked later, and more technology you can get. Worse. Yeah, levels are time-based. This level ends at, on March 31st. Get another one of these. And yeah. You can play this game single player, as you can see, but I, this is much more meant for multiplayer. It's unwise to sell at the price Left Ink is offering now because it's really low. It's best to first store your oil. It's like the I, I, silo, build one there, and yeah. Wagons that are not <coughs> wagons that are not selling will then go store it. Yeah, scroll down on the assign button to reduce the wagon amount. Those unassigned wagons will stop selling oil and will now go to the silo. Yeah. I think I'm sorry. Unless I'm being lied to. When they found oil on the ground like this, they actually stopped the uh, whale hunting for oil. Whale hunting for oil? Uh, what? Uh, you didn't know what they. Many ways was being extinct due to over hunting only for whale oil for use for street lights and such. Oh yeah, that. Okay. Yeah, they, they eat the meat, but much of the meat they just dumped into the ocean. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of the time with, with this game, from what I know, it's a also up to just random chance. Uh, let's start selling a bit of that, because it's starting to get a bit full. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Well, I do feel like we should probably move away from oil. The only thing I'm glad about oil is that at least when we, we found oil on the ground, at least it prevented the extinction of many whales, especially the sperm whales. Let's see. Okay, okay, yes, it's still draining. Oil. It's still draining, even though it's not really in the oil anymore. Okay, I guess I got that wrong. Uh, wait, there's more. Oil. I think you need to drill deeper. Let's see. The, the, they're the still in the pipe. You there, it looks like. Let's drill a little bit down further. Yeah, there's a lot more there. Okay, a air bubble because it was not sucking up for a bit. Okay, let's sell. Let's start selling because this thing is full. We're as good as full. And there's a good price now. Okay. But yeah, not really a game for our style, I'd say. Final months. And yeah, I think we're going to we're going to end up at a loss here. Actually, no, the price is rising quite fast. Oh yeah. As long as we can get more than 2,000 out of this... Uh, yeah, just empty that thing out, please. That should hopefully be enough to cover the costs. Yeah, one strategy I've seen some people use by this is just at the wait for a price jump at the end, and then just sell off all the oil they've put into silos. And yeah, we're going to make a profit. Not much of one, but still. But I do gotta say that I like the music. <laughs> it was a nice melody. Okay, and this well, this well is dry. Now it's officially completely dry here. It's also the 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 oil bits pockets. It changes color when it is, and uh, yeah, as you get to the end, you get to sh you get to see what you've been missing, and we've been missing quite a big one. Yeah, and here, look how much profit you get earning. Okay, yeah. You earned okay. over at the double you got borrowed. Okay. Let's see, graphs, earnings. Yeah, there will be a writing which will offer a different price. Okay. And uh, yeah, the AI... I don't know if the AI is particularly good or just bad with this, because I have seen a cases where they just made a fuck ton of profits. Uh, where I just got screwed over. Let's see. Howdy, my name's Fred Metal. Are you looking to make your mine, uh, oil mining corporation more efficient? Come to my factory to upgrade your gear. Welcome to my factory. Looking to upgrade your oil gear. Fred Metal can help you out. Let's see. Yeah, we can choose the width, which increases the capacity of the pipes. So basically, it'll suck, <laughs> it'll suck it up faster. We have the side. Let's buy that one. We're not okay. He's just showcasing it. Size of the silos, making it a little bit bigger. The timer rigs are now better resistant to guy high pressure, so they're less likely to spill. Then we have branch modified the joints between pipes, so you can now connect three pipes for each joint. Okay, that this would be really useful, as you can see here. So that would be a good one to go for, I'd say. Okay, and then after each expedition, we can go to a land auction. Okay, welcome to the auction. Are you ready to start bidding? In turns, you decide which plot of land you get to mine next year. On your turn, click on the parcel to bid on it. You can outbid others by clicking on their parcels. See the numbers on plots that have been mined? They indicate how much oil was in that plot. The higher the number, the more oil is likely to be in the unmined parcels next to it. Use this to decide which plot you want to bid on. So yeah, each of these have been pretty decent. Uh, yeah, let's place a bid here then. I don't know what the max number is. And, well, the, <laughs> that's that already then. <laughs> Okay, we can see what upgrades they are getting. And yeah, as long as you have $2,000, you can move out. So, yeah, don't try to overspend before you go out. Oh, God, that's a she's in bank name. McMoneys. Okay, you can now connect three pipes to each joint. And red ink is now open. 
From now on, levels will run from January 1st to June 30. Looking for another place to sell you all? Come to me, at my place, the price is always right. Um... Okay. Not currently, I say. Yeah. So yeah, this is a bit of a re a bit of a strategy game with this. That you need to well, <laughs> you need to try and make money without spending too much of it yourself. I don't really know what the end point would be, is <clears throat> is being would be like with all land uh, drilled out already or such. I think you finish the game by the one who has whose money or something. Did you know that you can stop the oil flow by closing valves? You can find valves at the bottom of a rig and between pipelines. Click the valve to close it, which does cost money. You can open up the valve again the same way, which also costs. Opening and closing valves cost money. The next one isn't free, so good luck. Yeah, oh, we can do that cost... too. Yeah, because you're putting in a blockage or such. It's, but it's meant to well stop the flow so it doesn't overflow. And this one is deep, from the looks of it. Uh, you went past it. Oh, right. Well. Then we just do that. Okay, let's go for about there. Oh, that's a big one. Or is it? Yes, it's a big one. Okay. Now we just wait for him to finish looking around. Okay, sell to them. It weirdly reminds me of... No. Drinking cola from a straw. <laughs> okay, just need to make a bit of money so we can get another carriage. I, oh god, that was my... I haven't been drinking cola in years. <laughs> Every time I tried it when being given, it, it's just too we much need for another me. another one. Okay. Uh, I don't know if there's a specific ratio you'd want between rigs and uh, wagons, but clearly it's not going to be one-to-one -one here. Oh, wait, wait, you're saying it's the wrong... Uh, oh, they just... All oh, right, they just picking up. As you say, mm -hmm. the one over there has better. Yeah, okay, yeah, we, we're going to need some a lot of these at the moment. This is really also, good price on that. But... Also, what does ink stand for again? Uh, <laughs> like just uh, yeah, pen ink and such. A bit no, of a that's with a K. Oh, it incorporated. Oh right. And it looks like we're not going to find another one here, because this guy is just still going around. Okay, let's do a little bit of prodding around to see if there's any more around here. Um, nope. Is he alright? Hmm? Yeah, he is just finding absolutely nothing. Okay, price here is slowly starting to drop. He, he left. <laughs> well, I guess there's no other oil around then. And this one is as good as empty from the looks of it. Okay. We're starting to get to a point where we'll have to swap around. Okay. Some of you head over there. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Another possible chill game, but I can't say I'm too interested in this one. Same. Let's actually move one less there. Hmm. This one, I feel like this is one of those multiplayer chill lax games, but I'm going to take a bit yeah, of a you're risk here. Um, uh... Yeah, I would not be surprised. It, it was only. Very short time on YouTube, for there was only a few people. Some played it single player just to show it off, but not many probably played it for multiplayer. Price is starting to drop, so let's get as much as we can in the meantime. Uh, see, probably not to do too, 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 too
a bit one note. Yeah, and uh, it might not be to everyone's taste, and probably a taste not many have to begin with. Okay. Prices are starting to drop on both sides. Okay, but we, we have a bit of a profit, but we need more than just a bit of a profit. Hmm. Yes, uh, those I, upgrades are pretty expensive. How much did it cost for you to buy this land? Uh, 2,000 about, so yeah. <laughs> at the moment, yeah, we... Yeah, we Yo. still, we, at the moment we have a loss of 400 about then. Okay, that, uh, wait, what? Yeah, 2,000 2, for the land, 2,000 for setup cash. Oh. Yeah, I, for a good part, that depends on just randomness with the fluctuations in price here. Because they're both still just falling. Okay. Yeah, left is dropping a lot faster. I don't know if actually selling your you know, oil uh, has any effect on that or not. Hmm. No idea. I will not be surprised if it all about comes down to sell it at the right time and all that. Yeah. So is it, is it really a <laughs> game of patience? And chance. Okay, I, I do like that they continue to suck up oil even when they are not actually in the oil level anymore. It's a nice little yeah. bit. But yeah, I can see why not many people move to play this on YouTube. Since again, it will not be very exciting to watch to begin with. True. But well, that, that is a really low price, but did it just go up a bit? Uh, okay. okay, it is rising, but slowly. I guess you can need to send it to the other one. Yeah, risk and rewards. And yeah, we're <laughs> we are going to barely make any profit out of this venture. So we might need to sell it to the other one just because they're closer. There's quite a bit of time lost in just moving around. Okay, you can get upgrades to make your wagons faster and such. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, but at least we get a little bit of profit out of this. And we'll see if uh, we missed any big wells. Why am I almost tasting Coca-Cola while watching this? This is just weird. <laughs> okay, did we miss any? Yes, we missed one at least. And a okay, quite a big one. Why he went over there so many times? Okay, I have a few big ones. But yeah, upgrading the size of the... Uh, That's a profit, Hill. Okay, it seemed it it calculated in the uh, the lands. Uh, I think or no, no, it's this from this is from the spendings just of putting stuff here. So we did make a profit, but we need to cut off two k from the land buy. Where's that calculated in here? No. Okay. And okay, still made a good amount. Let me hear. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Edward and I'm a bit of a handyman. I'd like to experiment with stuff that can help you find oil. Make sure to check out my inventions. And uh, yeah, this is for upgrades with the dowsers and such. Well, we can get a mole who will just randomly dig around. But uh, yeah, let's call it on that. Nice yeah. little game, but a uh, bit too slow for my taste. A bit too random. Yeah, I agree. Like, I don't think it... It, not, it, it would not even work for, for, as a relaxed game, really. Yeah. Okay. Trail Makers. Good game, but not for us. 
tribes of Midgard. I am curious about it now. I will continue with uh, some on my own, but 50-50 yeah. like you... on streaming. I guess when you try to do, you are kind of doing a very in-depth investigation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, troubleshooter, heavily leaning to yes, but we will check for how long it how long it's going to be. I'm also leaning heavily yes on it, and I fully do it. I did suggest it to for us to yeah do the investigation first. <laughs> and yeah, try again. We don't need to try again because we completed it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I happened. did not expect it actually. actually hmm. I think we haven't had that happen since the first year when we started together. Yeah. And Turmoil, again, nice little yeah. competent game. Nice little competent game, but not our style. There's no, no story yet, for one. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Um, it's not a story game per se. It's, more, it, it's a game meant to play with the other friends a bit, mostly. Yeah. That means that next week we'll get started with... Uh, Two Point Hospital, which I also get the feeling that I've showcased at one point or another. Uh, actually, I just I think something I'll do is that uh, once we are done, once we've hit once we've hit Z and done any Z games that I have um, uh, or that are easily set up, uh, we'll, I'll go after that. We'll put Showcase Sunday on a bit of a break, and then. Uh, Potato, Control Z, uh, what? <laughs> control Z, what? Yep. No, after that, potato. Uh, after we're done with a second run through of the games I own, uh, I'll go look through all of the old Showcase Sundays to find out which ones specifically I have showcased and which not, to be more accurate, which, well, which we've done and all. Uh, control Z, my life. Uh, it isn't Control Z, undo. Tato, what's up? Uh-oh. <clears throat> I'm worried. Uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> okay, I hope you'll be feeling better soon then, Tatum. Uh, but yeah, I'll, when we are done with our second run-through of from A to Z, We'll put Showcase Sunday on a bit of a hold. I'll look into all of the games we have showcased by going through the old videos. And from then on, maybe 50-50 with each week if we do a showcase. I'll probably be doing it a lot more specialized. Like, there's still a lot of console and handheld games you know, to do. Uh, yeah. With those, we'll probably stick to just four you know, each time instead of just having a bit of overflow ready. <clears throat> yeah, for... Again, like... Many of them probably were not installed, because it was, provided you have the CD and depending how old are. But we still have the, the thing with the rule, uh, capture card. Yeah. That can they will have to work with that. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely the one that uh, put in a brick on how many we can showcase at the time. But we can also run them through emulators if we can get them working. Since, yeah, I do have physical copies of most, yeah, all of all of my collection. Of course, that, that's whatever my collection. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how we do about that. So maybe it'll be a 50-50 chance each week if we do a showcase or not. Otherwise, we can just put in something else on this time slot. Uh, but yeah, for now, let's go look for someone to raid. So let me change over the screen share for the gear, so we yeah. can take a look as well. I would not be. I think we actually took first time we finished it. We took a break before we returned. Then we took a forced break due to the again security job. Yeah, but definitely we need to take a break again after that. Then we will have to see what happens. Let's see. We have Dr. Misunderstood, who is playing Final Fantasy VIII. We have Moonrise with Jackbox. Sarah Rolvis, who is playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Isaiah Rosier with Celeste. Dynalope with Prey. Uh, let me check which one of version that is, the old or, or the new. Uh, that, that's the newer version, the arcane version. We have Redacted Cat, who is playing Alundra again. Kirinatsuyoko with Blasphemous. 
And last but not least, we have K9 with Hell Divers 2, which I hear is doing pretty good. Uh, hmm. Tatum, in a few months, you'll need a, a time slot for HHSMP. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tatum has invited me for. <clears throat> Uh, has invited me to uh, a, a, not really to a server yet, so a Discord server where we're setting up a, uh, a bleh, where we're setting up a Minecraft mod pack where everyone will be playing to a specific style, like uh, with with the mods. Like one person will be more focused on adventuring stuff. Uh, I'll be focused more on magic stuff and another on tech. And the, the thing is that we are not supposed to really move too much out of those comfort zones. So if I'd want something, if I'd want a create machine, I'd have to go ask the, well, the person with the create mods uh, to go make something for me. And they're Sensei. Uh, let's see. Uh, the server should be set up this month, if not next month. <laughs> also, oh, hello, hello Sensei. Time. <laughs> but yeah, we'll have to see about that. We still have the open spots on Sunday evenings, which we're mostly doing hard space shipbreaker on. We could put it there. We'll have to look around. Uh, for now, anyone here you'd like to uh, for, like us to raid, or should we look for someone new? Or shall I take a pick? Hmm, I'm tempted with K9. Okay. Is it the spider? As they are. <laughs> Spreading quote unquote liberty across the galaxy. Because Helldivers is very obviously Starship Troopers inspired. I almost feel like it's a Starship Trooper version of. Uh, oh, what's it called again? Earth Defense Force? Could be, yeah. Looking good all the same. But yeah, let's go raid them then. They are playing together with someone. <clears throat> okay. Slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, that, that, before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Sensei, Tatum, and Marco. Do we have any lurkers around? Not that are not that none that have accounts at the moment. And thank you as always, look here. You're welcome as always, my friend. Thank you all for watching here or on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, if nothing gets in the way. We will have a second stream tonight in about two and a half hours, a bit more than that. Local, 8 p.m. local time here, and it's now 5.12. Uh, likely Shipbreaker, uh, maybe something else, maybe Pal Worlds, or maybe Minecraft. <clears throat> Though it oh, won't be dear. on that server yet. <laughs> it would be more just making a new world and trying not to die. <clears throat> okay, uh, anything else? I can think of, but I'm open for Shipbreaker or uh, Minecraft. Yeah, I've started a bit of a world to practice with some of the magic mods. We could do that, but we'll see that uh, later today. For now, though, let's get that raid started. There. No block. Okay, because sometimes they put up raid blocks because just jackasses and such. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs> and, uh, oil barons. I've got nothing this time. <laughs> oh, God. Th those are kind of true. <laughs>